Alright, hey there everybody, Sari here, and welcome back to this ongoing playthrough of Golden Sun. I love, just leading up to the start of the stream, I love listening to the the intro theme and then this menu theme. It just, it, it just, it gets, me, it, it gets me in the mood for Golden Sun. This is some really good music, it's a great way to just introduce you to the game as a whole. We've made some pretty good progress over the last couple of streams. We've gotten all the way to Clay, made it through the desert last time. After not managing to stop Satros and Nardi from lighting the Mercury Lighthouse, so we're chasing them on our way to the next lighthouse. Hopefully we can intercept them before they get there, or stop them from lighting it this time. But I guess we will see. Um, yeah, I just I've been looking forward to getting back to this game all uh, all week. It's it's it has been a treat just wandering through these areas and remembering the game as I go through. Um, also, hey there, Kelsey and Starling and Sign. Welcome to the stream. Glad to hear you beat the game earlier, Sign. I <laughs> just without spoilers. How did you enjoy it? Because I I remember really, really just loving the whole game start to finish the first time I played through it. Oh yeah, it turns out <laughs> that having multiple save files is a good thing. Um, I hope you saved in a second file because, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh no, oh, that's the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, but on the bright side, at least you have a better idea of what to expect going in. Also for Kelsey, I'm doing alright. It's been a pretty good day so far, and you know, like I said, I've been looking forward to getting back to Golden Sun all of today and most of last week, too. This... sorry, this last week. Alright. Well, apparently Kelly's actually in decent shape. It doesn't seem like they're in immediate trouble, at least. Not like some of the places we've been to. A frost wand? Huh. Ooh, that would be really good for either of you, huh? Wow, why does Mia have so much more attack than Ivan does? Um... Yeah, we'll give it to Ivan. Mia was the one I was giving all of the tickets to. Destroyed by lava? Oh, maybe from the eruption from Vale. Oh, that is good to hear, Sign. I'm really glad. And I am really looking forward to seeing what you think when you do get to the Lost Age and move on. Because. This game was great, but it is quite literally only the first part of the story, so... Yeah, it, it's, uh... I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what you think once you have the whole picture. Oh, not quite close enough. Gamerm is fun. I actually did a little bit of free shuffling of my own <laughs> gaming and or working area in just a couple of months ago, actually. It was shortly before Christmas. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's, it's a lot more comfortable and <laughs> it's it feels good to update it and actually be happy with the result. That makes sense. I've been forgetting to read mines. Huh. Oh, and Hammett is currently tied up <laughs> in that village of thieves, isn't he? Oh, that sounds like fun. Hmm. 
the palace has been very quiet ever since. Oh no, I is that a gin that I missed? But... Hmm. Gotcha. Well, that's a... a oof. So I guess we missed a side quest. Unfortunate. I don't know if there were any djinn tied to that. If there were, I might end up going back and doing that again at some point. <laughs> yeah, well, not great enough to avoid being captured by thieves. Oh, a stat item. Gotcha. That is unfortunate to miss, but I don't think I'm going to restart the game for it. The Aquadots. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> yep. Good trade does help a town prosper, doesn't it? Oh, you know, it, seeing this reminds me of something I thought of after the last stream and really wish I'd mentioned. So, if anyone was uh, remembers wh how things played out at the top of the Mercury Lighthouse, where Satros, where we fought Satros, and then. He eventually got away. I think one of the things I really appreciate about that scene is the way they work his escape into the into the narrative and make it seem and make it actually fairly realistic. <laughs> like Isaac and company get very distracted by Alex, who's apparently more than willing to tell us all sorts of things we want to know, except you know he's just stalling us and not actually trying to help us at all. And he still ends up having to carry Satros out of there because Satros isn't just fully recovered and on his feet five minutes after we pounded him into the floor. So, it's, it's little details like that that I really, really do appreciate about this game and it's the way it tells its story. It does it really well. And beyond that, one of the things I do really like about how much it forces you to wander around through the world instead of just chasing directly at the primary goal the whole time, is that it really helps you immerse yourself into this world and see how that one initial event has really impacted the world around it, which is really cool. Their weapons might be stronger, but ours have soul, which makes them better, definitely. Really? Oh, oh yeah, that's, uh, that is quite a feat. Trust or force? <laughs> the open palm or the closed fist? Yeah, it turns out when a band of noble thieves goes rogue, they're not so safe to hang around there anymore. Oh, that's right, and I don't even have to do this anymore, if I remember correctly, because I'm pretty sure Reveal shows me anything that's hiding. Oh, nice. That is that is an accomplishment sign, because that boss, that boss was scary the first time I found it. Right, we've been in there, haven't been in here.
Oh, so he, he's not letting you guys sell the best in stock, apparently. Eh, he ran into some thieves. Does sound like we're going to be heading back up there soon, since this is Hemet's hometown. Ooh, there we go. Gimme. <laughs> they will make me so much money. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Kelsey. Um, uh, yeah, Golden Sun and Lost Age are, like, up there as one of those really, really memorable games for me. And I do think that they've... they kind of got overlooked by a lot of people who might have been interested in RPGs just because of when and where they released the fact that it's a completely new IP when it did release, so it's it, getting people to try something new like that is always an ask, but this is one that I do think is just really worth the time and effort. And I hope that it's some that someday that these two games get a remaster, because I do think they deserve it. Colosso? Okay. <laughs> I try to play it off like I don't care, but I really wish I was going to. <laughs> well, turns out that that eruption a little while ago sent these weird crystals flying all over the land and turned all of the animals into monsters. Which is definitely not helping the situation of anybody anywhere. Oh, right? Right? The first time I got to the Venus Lighthouse, I just sat and listened to that theme for several minutes on end before doing anything else. It's so good. Right, I have been in here already. What's so great about it? <laughs> I have to play it cool, otherwise people will know it's my first time. <laughs> Colossal Battles. Ah, okay, well, it, I think we know what her interest in this is. <laughs> Colby Springs. You don't say. Well, I imagine if it's a popular tournament, there are going to be a lot of people going there to fight. <laughs> yep, honestly, he's doing pretty well for himself, isn't he? Ooh, gimme. going to feel so empty in a few days. Really? Oh, so we might end up seeing these two soon. <laughs> I have power, Sean has speed. Okay. 
So blue boy is speedy, red boy hits hard. I will try to remember this. Nothing in the empty room. Okay. The Southern Continent, huh? Okay. Nope, I actually don't know too much about it. Gondolin. It's very large. Warm. So tropical. Oh, these two came from there. Lived in Lalavero, which is a great village until the Tolbian. Oh, okay. So there's a flip side to Tolby, is there? It's a little too noisy. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Honestly, especially if you're coming from a quiet city, city or town, a, a busy one can be a bit overwhelming. Oh, the bridge was rebuilt! So we have a shortcut to get all the way back over there. Nice. And Lady Leana is the one who's forbidden anyone from going north. Okay. There will be no belongings hidden from us. Everything will be obtained. Reveal is a very helpful synergy to have. Oh. Okay, so we should probably go visit the palace then. Well, there was an eruption up there, which gets everybody's attention very quickly. Yeah! Yeah, oh, okay, so that that wasn't exactly a secret outside of Vale, was it? Huh. Interesting. Yep, makes sense. He went straight into a village of thieves with a caravan full of, I assume, valuable goods. Yes, it is. And yes, they did. Ooh, the palace has its own theme. <laughs> I've been over here like, hey, you two should recognize me. You're so tan, but it really is you. I mean, I guess, sure. Um, you never got captured by the thieves in the first place. <laughs> Um, no, we're not leaving. Yep, there were thieves in Vault, too. <laughs> it's just thieves all the way north of here. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yes, we did. <laughs> can do. And maybe we can go help Hammett get out of his predicament, and let's see what we can do about that village of thieves along the way. These story time sequences are actually really cute. <laughs> we sent the ransom money, he should be back soon, right? <laughs> And then to Lumpa's grandson. And to Dunpa's just horrible. First the volcano erupted, and then the ransom note came in. And then the money went out right away. It's been a while. Yeah, entirely possible. We did pay them a vi pay the village a visit, and it didn't sound like they were just planning to continue extorting more money going forward. I mean, why would they? <laughs> we're dealing with noble, upstanding people here, not thieves who have lost all of their morals, <laughs> right? This is exactly what the soldiers are for. I think the soldiers might have a very difficult time retrieving him safely. Ex yeah, okay, so she's she's thinking ahead here. <laughs> Pretty sure we could. Yeah, Garrett. I think we're better equipped for this job than anyone you have on hand. I mean, we do, so I should I should be honest about that. We do, but also. They won't kill him. They will just continue to extort us for more money. Um, huh. Wait, what's going on here? What's, what's Hammett been hiding from Ivan? Oh. A Jupiter adult. Yeah, the rest- the uh, two of this party are from there. Prophecy. Huh. <laughs> Ivan, like, I never heard of this. Oh wow. So it, it was a long time ago. In the southwestern edge of the world. And I even like, hang on a minute. Shaman's Rod and you. And some money. And golden doubloons.
<laughs> well, he had to get a start somewhere, Garrett. <laughs> Buy silk and sand and sell it in Tolby. It's not necessarily a free gift, is it? Huh. <laughs> Time was running out. <laughs> So a lot of this has just been playing out leading up to the story that we started. But what will happen to Hammett? No, we're definitely going to worry about Hammett. Welcome back, Kelsey. And yes, I'm definitely planning to backtrack. I remember there was that one Jin in Vault that I couldn't get to, and I think there's a cave. I remember there's a rock that I can lift in Vale, and I would like to go back and lift it to see what's behind it. If Isaac says we will, then that's what we're gonna do. I didn't miss what this clue was. Oh. <laughs> it, no, we're definitely going back there as soon as we can sneak into their fortress. Fair enough. So the only hint, as far as I know, is that we can use this rod to find something that will help. Oh, right. And just do this. Alright, time to plunder the palace. Um, I think so. Yeah, we've got... Corona and Vine both. I was going to say I recognize Corona. Oof. Poor lady, she just wants her husband back. It's like, I'm worried about him. I was almost kidnapped with him. I doubt it. I mean, even without him, there are going to be other people who continue that trade. Business and you. Yeah, every business is built on trust. Ooh, treasure. A water jacket? What is that? Oh wow, resists water and fire. Oh, that's handy. Yours boosts agility, definitely keeping that. This resists fire. I think I'm going to have Ivan equip this. He doesn't have any resistances to water or fire yet, so that should help him stay alive. No, they don't. We gotta keep that secret, otherwise everyone's going to panic. Mm -hmm. 
Attention to detail is a key to good hospitality and finding all of the good stuff that's hiding away in this world. Oh, gotcha sign. Okay, so we're doing pretty well then. I think the open world djinn end up being the hardest ones to track down, typically, just because <laughs> there's nothing that points you to where they are other than stumbling across them by luck or looking it up. going to doubt that. <laughs> I think we're going to have to help them out ourselves, but we still don't have any synergy that would allow us to do that, so I think we just continue on for now. Wait, what? Oh, it's the tour! Wait, they have a chef coming along? I guess it helps to keep everybody fed. Is the last one in a forest too? Because that I think I noticed that being a trend with the ones we found already. <laughs> Let's just move. <laughs> Are they missing someone? That's what it seems like. Just counting and recounting. <laughs> they keep counting you guys to try and see if they missed somebody. <laughs> A cruise? Huh. Right when we're leaving, they tell us we have to ride a boat. <laughs> it was in your contract. <laughs> yeah, missing the boat would definitely make you late. So I guess we're going to follow them to the boat, then, and see if we can hitch a ride. It does seem- oh, <laughs> there's their missing person. They waited for you for a while. You better step on it. Alright. Well, I guess that's where we're going then. Clean and well maintained. A lot like the rest of the city, honestly. Okay. So. Let me try and remember what we found coming out of the desert. There was a cave here that I wanted to poke into. Welcome back, Kelsey. No, Ivan's nearly out of synergy over here. Yeah, he's done a lot of work with mind reading and revealing. Oh right, this is the villa, the bridge, right? That would take us back to Vault. I think. Yeah, it is. Here, let's go ahead and get this. There was a djinn all the way up here. 
I remember correctly. How did I get up there? Gotta go all the way around. Okay. That's right, we did pick up some bones for the dog. Here, give the dog a bone, Ivan. <laughs> a careful search will reveal a passage leading underground. You might find some treasure. Oh yeah, no, I, I remember that the djinn goes back to hiding if I don't ring the bell. I remember seeing that because I think I went out of vaults on the north side last time I was here, and then saw the djinn was back behind the tree before, after I got back. Yes. Ooh, treasure. <laughs> the dog was not lying. Oh, eh, never mind. That's a mimic. It's okay. Time to Ragnarok and roll. Stun, Ivan. this fight a lot easier when it's just stunned the whole time. I feel like that's not going to... we're not going to get quite that lucky a second time in a row, but... Oh, maybe it just dies. Perfect. Rev oh, we have a way to revive people without the item? Awesome! I haven't actually had anyone go down yet, which is... it's been nice, but I don't think that's going to stay the case forever. Oh my, gargoyles. I don't think I've seen you two before. some pretty spooky monsters to be hiding but um, underneath a village that you visit right at the beginning of the game. Ah, okay, I'm going to have to build my own bridge. Ooh, also. Oh no, that, that is going to Isaac immediately. Isaac is just about the only one who really cares about auto-attacking right now, so... Oh wait. Wrong one. I'm going to have to do this a bit. May as well change it out from Minecraft for a moment. Hmm. 
We're building our own stepping stones. I don't think I need this one on the right. Should just be these ones that I need. Staircase going down and up. Oh hey there, Chapu. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Oh wow. Okay, this is an extensive cave, isn't it? Okay, let's uh, let's just try and auto attack our way through this. Everybody needs to regenerate synergy for now. Careful with the water? Is that what this is? Let me see. I think that's it. Okay, so we're going to have to be very careful with how I push this through. This gets it past this one in the middle. We'll still have to dodge one of them. Yep. So after that one drops again. And I'm going to push it all the way around. We'll do this one more time. And get it through that last droplet before it puts out the fire. <laughs> better be something good back here. Wait, isn't this just where I was before? It is. Huh. How weird. Yeah, because this just takes me right back down there, doesn't it? At least we're figuring out the cave a little bit. Yeah, okay, so that's exactly what this is. So let's head back up and around, and start trying some of these other passages. I think we came down, right? No, no, this is where we came from, so up is the other new one. Oh, here we go. And drain the pond. Suddenly, this makes a lot more sense.
So, when the water is drained, we have to go the long way around to get back to the other side. Fair enough. Don't think I tried this staircase yet. Which gets us over here. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> a little bit of back and forth, but we figured our way out through this place, kind of. Haven't gotten to the end yet, so I shouldn't say that, but... There's some twisty, turny bits to this cave. So I need to heal Garrett. Huh. There you go. I think we're going to have to use some synergy on you. Your defense is a little bit high. Mia, go ahead and just heal the party. Thank you, Kelsey. Ow. You know, that was a whole mini-dungeon just to reach this one gin. Pretty wild. So what do we get? Oh, that's right, because I don't have a fourth Mars gin yet. That's a pretty useful gym, though, isn't it? Huh. Planet Diver? So he loses all of the... F sort of direct fire synergies, but gains some interesting new ones. You know what? Sure. Let's see what that does. just have to get back out. Alright, see you soon, Kelsey. Yep, that's full of water. I might not actually have to... Yeah, I don't think I have to put the water back. Good. We're just going to auto through this, I think. No reason to do anything fancy. not an attack I'd seen before. Thankfully it didn't hit anyone relevant. Also, hey there Nat, welcome back. Good to see you again. <laughs> Alright, up and out we go. Right, the other passage was the mimic. Alright. I wonder if anything new is going on in town. Wait, what? Oh shoot, that's right, frost. Oh. Oh, they got away. Huh. <laughs> yeah, not particularly fond of that attack. Yeah, it, you know, going around punching people randomly, maybe not the best thing to do. 
So we probably need to be on the lookout for a rematch with those thieves. It's all part of a divine plan. Warrior guy, and Ivan too. <laughs> I wish the elders were as good as you were. <laughs> The thieves broke out. Oh, maybe I should talk to the mayor. Hang on. I think his house was up on the ridge here. sorts of crazy things have been happening. Yeah, I heard. No, not yet. It's okay. They were probably waiting for an opportunity and took it when they found it. Oh, what I should be doing, too, is using Reveal. Make sure there's nothing I left behind. Like this, whatever's in here. Should also probably just stay in the inn to replenish everyone's synergy where it's cheap. Oh shoot. Too far up. There we go. Put them there, and that last barrel is empty as well. Are they headed to Colosso? Interesting. you just have to tough it out, get through the hard times, and wait for the good to come back. Ooh, a mint! Very nice. Okay, <laughs> feeling vindicated about this. Nothing here. Hmm. 
never know when there might be a stat booster hiding in a pot. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if he'll take me this year. Somebody's a little bit, um, <laughs> a little bit threatened, I think. Okay. You know what, let's go stop by Vale. I do want to check out that cave, and apparently there's a gin hiding over there, so... We'll do that, and then go see about Colosso. Oh, <laughs> the zombie. I'm back from when we were level 1 and just starting our adventure. Huh? I mean, <laughs> if you can thank the wise one for sending the lava in that direction instead of it down right into the village. Yeah, we've seen some very interesting stuff. Uh. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, thinking about it, that's exactly what we've done. his mom, isn't it? Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, we're, we're definitely going to check in on her and see what's going on, and if we can fix it. Fail will never change. I feel like that's famous last words. One coin. <laughs> Sadly, no. Isaac still has the things that he needs to do. side. And it's widening. Oh. Huh. I mean, maybe he's being a bit dramatic, but... Ooh, also... Ivan. Move this way, please. Oh, nothing. But there are more. Or Ivan's going to be using all of his synergy here. I don't mind if I do. About two minutes ago. Eh, I mean, <laughs> he's not back for long, we're just passing through. Why are you walking around with some girl who's not Jenna? <laughs> Jenna's uh, still kind of missing in action. <laughs> We're working on it.
yeah, we're definitely going to pay a visit to Mom. Yes, I am going to go pay that a visit, just to help Ivan keep his energy topped up. <laughs> Secret to making good weapons. Eh, if you're starting from scratch, you probably want to learn from someone who has more experience than anyone in Vale. see sparkles. <laughs> Too afraid to go to Soul Sanctum. I mean, I can't blame them. The mountain erupted the last time people went in there. Uh, and, you know, they might not want to risk that happening again. More stuff. Every bit of money counts. I will take it. <laughs> yeah, the, there were there was a lot of lava in that are involved in that eruption. I think everyone should be grateful it didn't go in the direction of the village. What's energy stone? If there's a hole in your roof, it's probably, yeah, right inside. Ooh, look at all this. Hundred and twenty-three. Well this old guy has been holding out on the rest of the village, hasn't he? Felix survived, so... And he is protecting Jenna. Wait, still? Even after the eruption? Huh. Explains why there are so many monsters out and about, but... So it's not just his mom that got sick. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's probably a little bit miserable, isn't she? Well, Isaac, we're going to take you home, say hi to your mom, and hopefully get her better. House is still a little broken up, isn't it? Ooh, and we can grab this. Caused the continent to crack. You're not the first person to be saying this. I wonder if it's true. Ah, uh, no, not really. <laughs> like we banned visitors. Right, this is just the other side.
Oh, and take care, Kelsey. Hope you have a good night. Hey there, Mom. <laughs> um... No. Isaac. Uh, no, we're just passing through. <laughs> She's like, why are you back? <laughs> uh, no, nobody said. <laughs> yes, but you know, it's it's normal to worry about your mom. Yeah, I'm not sold on this. Uh huh. You were having a coughing fit just a moment ago. Yeah, you're not better. Hang on, I wonder... Mia was curing colds back in her village. Oh, does it not work on her? Oh no! I guess not. Unfortunate. I feel like that's something we should be able to do something about. But maybe not. <laughs> Back in bed. Yeah, she's... She's not in a good place, is she? Still can't... She still hasn't really gotten over her husband. Either... Uh, well, probably dying, honestly. It's a miracle that Felix survived. In that... Disaster a few years back, and now Isaac's off in an adventure and not home anymore. I feel like that was something better left alone. Meanwhile, Garrett's coming home, too. Already? I mean, that it's the truth, Garrett. You're smarter than you look. No pressure. <laughs> well, Garrett's family seems like they're doing all right. Not like for Dora. It's just chill. down with a cold and down with depression all at the same time. <laughs> we we already paid a visit to her. You're looking for an excuse to find him. Hmm. 
<laughs> He's literally right there in front of you. Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa... <laughs> Grandpa was sleeping. Uh, not yet. We're working on it. Please look after Garrett. He needs it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Grandpa over here playing matchmaker. I wish you were more like Ivan. Always eats too much. <laughs> Hello again. Yep, we just went to see him. Oh. She was not particularly happy with him the last time we saw her. Something about uh, ruining her flowers by training. Because, <laughs> you know, you're not that bright. <laughs> yeah, alright. Thanks, sis. <laughs> She's really worried. Yes, they are. I wonder what Jenna will think when she sees this. <laughs> strong synergy, but I don't want to have to work for it. Huh, really? Let's go see, I'm curious. I was about to say, why are you out here? We'll leave that area alone. Earthquakes sound like a problem. So it's not all peace and quiet in Vale. Right, already talked to you. And I think we've been all the way down here too. That's Jenna's old house. Okay, so there's only one area left to go and check. Which is out here at Creighton's Cottage, and beyond that boulder.
He's a fun old coot. It's hard not to be fond of him. We don't actually get to see too much of him outside of the start of the game here, but he should, he's a lot more involved in the last stage from what I remember. Wait, hang on. There might be something all the way down here. We're about to go find out. <laughs> Do not follow us, it could be dangerous. any of this. Oh, too far out of reach, I guess. Huh. Well, in we go. The Veil Cave. Oh, well, this doesn't look suspicious at all, does it? A ring of rocks? I know what that means at this point. Okay, so we can build bridges with these. Test this out. Alright. Planet Diver it up. as flashy as Ragnarok, but it does hit hard. Oh, and then this one goes all the way over the top. Belong to me, even if you don't know it yet. A what now? There was a synergy in here? Oh, yes, please. Oh, do I need to use this to catch it? I think I might. No running away. Wow, 
sure this is worth it. <laughs> he loses basically all of his synergy and gains Astral Blast. Which, I mean, sounds cool, but... We'll just give this to Ivan. And I guess we can see what's behind here too, potentially. Oh, this is... okay. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess that's all that's in here. I don't know, that feels weird. I'm going to go through the cave a little bit more and make sure there's nothing I missed. not a section of this cave that I didn't check out already. it's the other one I didn't go through. Or did I? And this is where I saw the chin. I will find out. Nova. I think we have found everything in here, then. No hidden passage here. Okay. Alright then, out we go. If the monsters can leave me alone for two seconds. Oh no, Isaac. That's okay. We got him. Right. And that is not, in fact, a shortcut out. Although, I do have a shortcut out that I should be using. This looks so suspicious, but I don't see anything here that would let me move it. I don't know. It looks suspicious, but I don't think there's anything I can do with it. Although I guess I haven't tried using force. Okay, <laughs> while we're here... I didn't think so. Okay. They're all stacked into a corner, there's no way to knock them over from this angle. <laughs> ah, memories. 
our first run in with Satros and Minardi. Was a very useful side adventure. We got two Jin and a new Synergy Crystal out of that. And I believe it's Sign. I don't remember where else we can use that particular gem, but I would rather have it than not. Now we just need to remember how to get back over to Tolby. Here it is, bridge, and we should be basically right back to where we began. Yep, yeah, running into Mad Vermin now, so we're back into a somewhat more level appropriate area. from that side, so there shouldn't be anything down there for us. There are two caves. Oh, it does! You know, I don't think I actually tried that. Oh, that's so handy. Very handy. Okay, let's see what we can do in here. Oh, we can't do anything in here yet, can we? I think that's out of reach. Yeah. So we'll only be able to come through this cave from the other side. Alright. Fair enough. And I think I already checked down this way. Yeah, that's a dead end. So there's one more cave to look at, and then what looked like the docks. Which is probably where that touring party went. over and around, too, just to see what's over there. Clay Tunnel Entrance. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, why not? Oh, right, I don't have the synergy on that. I insist. Okay, fine. Interesting. Oh, he's got a fence, so... <laughs> the almighty fence. We cannot do anything about it. All of our synergy is useless. Oh, dead end. Right, I already came through here. Okay, I guess there is only one place left to go. That is right over here. <laughs> this is the ocean. Yeah, honestly, like, considering the limitations of the system it was made on, this game is... it looks good. They did a really good job just bringing this sprite work to life and making it a fun game to explore through and look at, and I, I think I've mentioned it in one of the earlier streams, but I love how expressive they made all of these, frankly, fairly primitive 
sprites in terms of graphics, but they managed to do a lot to bring those to life and help convey all of the different emotions and states that these characters are in. They did, they did a really good job with it. It's technically not a real ocean. <laughs> Garrett all excited over here. This looks just the way Creighton described it. There's water as far as I can see. I want to see a real ocean. Absolutely. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, the captain's about to make a fortune since he's the only way to get across the sea. We've got plenty of money. Okay, <laughs> can't inspect the map up close. Really? Wait a minute, there's a djinn right over there? What? What? No, 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 no. Arr, get over here, you. Oh. Can I buy you a ticket? <laughs> if we've got plenty of money, I can buy you a ticket. Does taunt you. <laughs> yeah, I figured it. I was thinking, okay, there. It did look like there was a way to come in from the top side, so I'll have to find a way to get to the other side to come back in here. Soon, you say? I, I am doubting that. Oh, I know this theme. Oh, this, is a, this is a good theme. This guy is really pushy. Be, it would be too big a loss. There's too much money at stake here. <laughs> it's just that what? A whole bunch of them here. Uh. Be fine. We have a protective amulet. Amulet, you say? That little anchor charm has always protected us from danger. Captain, get a hold of yourself. Even if we can't find any mercenaries, that little charm will protect us. Thankfully, there are four mercenaries standing right behind you. So I guess in a way he's right. The charm is protecting him. It got us on board right before they took off. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Hmm. 
a humongous lake. It's an inland sea. I wonder if this is a door. Oh, it is. I'm opposed to violence, but this is going to be fun. I guess it is a pretty high price for tickets, unless you've been farming monsters for money this whole game. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm absolutely interested. One is real soon. <laughs> the merchant's like, I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> but he's huge! I just don't like water. <laughs> Spiders, huh? Not an easy question. <laughs> so the oh, okay. I was going to say, are they leaving the ship? <laughs> Make him set sail. <laughs> We're going to encourage him. Cracks knuckles. <laughs> Almost word for word. <laughs> Sounds great! Count me in! <laughs> I don't want any violence! Too late! <laughs> Once you've seen that, you won't want to go back to regular old festivals. Oh, they, uh... <laughs> That's going too far. <laughs> and this one's like, full steam ahead as long as we get moving. Just going to pay a visit to the... Oh, I guess we can't go visit the Oarsman, but there is something hiding in here. Gimme, gimme. Nothing there. Alright, let's go visit the captain's cabin, see what's going on in here. Sure, definitely. We can't set sail in this dangerous sea. <laughs> so, we're taking off. There's no problem here. That's what you said, isn't it? <laughs> Monsters, you say? Creatures never before seen in the Caracol. Dangerous ones. <laughs> that is dangerous. <laughs> oh, yeah. You might need warriors, like us. This guy's like, I would not mind the help. <laughs> I 
Well, <laughs> at least they're willing to pitch in. Now we need someone to protect the oarsmen. Warriors right over here listening to the entire conversation, by the way. If they're from Angara, they will. And of course, we still have my lucky anchor. Wait, where's my lucky anchor? So what's the big deal? So what if that old trinket's gone? What do you mean, oh, that? It's just decorative, right? The captain is very stubborn about this. <laughs> Why the fuss over a little trinket? This ship doesn't leave until we find that anchor. Yeah, about this guy who's, uh. definitely not suspicious at all. Uh huh. Alright. I want. Uh, yeah, hmm. Why don't you tell me exactly where it is? On top of the mast, huh? Okay. Can do. Yes, <laughs> this guy's already like, somebody must have taken this. There's no way he would have let something that important to him out of his sight for long. going to climb to the top of the mast and find that charm for you. I actually didn't even realize this is a place I could go to until they mentioned it. There you are. Alright. Back to the captain, let's give him his charm back and set sail. guy in the bottom right over here is like, wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a relief. Now we can set sail. What's the problem now? volunteering right over here, and the captain's like, you look like you already have an answer to this problem in mind. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get this ship moving. I need volunteers to help with rowing, just in case. The ship won't move if we don't move it, so... <laughs> the merchant over here is like, I am qu they are going to just chew me out for asking them to help row the boat. <laughs> they did not pay for this. <laughs> I 
Well then, Isaac, looking forward to working with you. Let's get this ship to sea. Oh, I should save. We've done a lot. It would be a shame if something horrible happened to this boat on the way, and we ended up losing all that progress. <laughs> As the captain says exactly that. There's nothing to fear. We have our lucky charm back online. It will be a smooth trip. Nothing will could possibly go wrong. It might be tough to convince the other passengers to row the boat. Isn't this going to be a bit dangerous? <laughs> Rowing is a man's job. Leave me out of it. I hope we don't have to refund their money at the end of the trip. <laughs> None of these passengers are on board with this. It's pretty easy to make a promise. I have no intention of keeping this promise. <laughs> this trip is going to be plagued with problems. Uh, no. We're, we're already handling protection. All that money on tickets, and now you have we have to row the ship. Madness. Nope, we're here to protect you while you row. Hey, don't jump to conclusions. Rowing might be hard work, but you never know what kinds of monsters are out there. And this guy. I wonder if they figured out I was the culprit. Yes, yes, we know. It, thanks to Ivan, but yes, we know. Okay, nobody down here. I guess we go talk to the captain. Hmm. I don't know. How do we get this ship moving? <laughs> Make the old man row. Where is the old man, actually? I don't think I saw him. Oh yeah, he was over here. Oh, maybe I didn't talk to him, and that's why. It's like, maybe I should have just stayed behind at my age and they want me to row the boat. Huh. What am I missing? Oh! Oops, no. I'm just trying to... figure out how to get this boat moving. Everybody here. Huh. What am I missing? Oh, is there another room I missed? Ow. Did you oh, oh wow, those are hiding. Thank you for pointing that out. I actually did not see this room at all. 
what about the monsters? Who's going to be protecting the ship? And these four protecting all of you. <laughs> They're just kids. And this guy's like, believe me, you can trust them. I know that look in their eyes, they've seen a lot of combat. Another passenger will help row the ship. I had a word with them. They've all agreed. Can we go find someone and... Be sure to balance the two teams. Oh dear. Okay, uh-huh. So we're going to have to play... Let's try and balance the rowing and make sure things are going smoothly. Something tells me that these, these oarsmen are not going to all get there in one piece. <laughs> A lucky charm. Back where it's supposed to be. Off we go. Thank you, sign, by the way. Probably would have spent a while looking for those stairs without the heads up. Uh oh. <laughs> a vast. Monsters? But my lucky charm! <laughs> They just instantly get into the ship, all the way below decks. Absolutely. Looks like we lost a rower already. <laughs> if you don't do a better job, there aren't going to be many of us left. <laughs> but if my oar breaks, I won't be able to row. Why aren't you fighting them already? And like with that dissipation. <laughs> Why? who else it gets, just as long as it's not me! <laughs> Mano Wars. Okay. Well, time to fry up some fish. We should probably put a lock on that door, and make sure the monsters don't sneak in again. Well, time to go find a replacement. Uh, let's start with you. You seem like you're going to be a decent replacement, probably the best out of the entire tour group, honestly. Well, you'll have to swallow your pride. It could have been me having to row.
he's not particularly happy about this. <laughs> but, I mean, if we don't have a rower, we're not going anywhere. We need you to protect this area again. <laughs> don't let the monsters get another rower. Course is clear. Off we go. Seagulls. Are apparently annoying him. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't even see the monsters, he was too distracted by seagulls. Oh, jeez, and then. <laughs> That's a lot of monsters on the deck already, I can't blame them for letting some sneak by. And here we go again. I'm not afraid of monsters one bit. I'm just an oarsman now, not a warrior. <laughs> oh my, that is a very large lizard. Well, you know what? That's okay, and the bats probably don't have too much health, so we'll just throw some single target at you, and cleave down the bats, and hopefully it works out. We're missing an horse, but time to go get another substitute. All right. Let's see who we can find. Who would be a good partner for? I'm pretty sure it would get partnered with the warrior from earlier. You seem like you're strong. Rowing. I'm not gonna forget this. <laughs> now, protect this area again. You're doing a horrible job of it so far, but protect them again. <laughs> I mean, I say horrible. They're getting to the oarsmen, but we're fighting them off afterwards, so... It's not the worst, right? This guy and his seagulls. Uh oh, here we go again. Wait, they flew away? Uh oh, what's going on? Oh, flying monsters. This is not a very effective lookout, is he? <laughs> oh, there goes another one. Monsters below decks. <laughs> Well, whoever we're picking as a substitute next is, uh, no, a sea monster is going to eat me. Ooh, 
you know, I should probably be a little bit more careful about how much synergy I'm using. And should maybe try to space it out a little bit. Or missing an overspin again. Hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, huh. Ask the others to do the rowing. Can I? Oh, I can head out. You know, I have a lot of respect for this guy. He hates water, and he's still out here fighting some monsters on a boat that he never wanted to get on in the first place. Alright, Nat, take care, and thanks for tuning in, it's been good to have you back again. <laughs> also, I want to have a word with you. You have not been a particularly good lookout for a while. The sea is so vast, how can you spot anything? You just have to keep an eye on what's going on around you. We must escape. Not really talking so much about that lucky charm anymore, is he? Wait, we can make him row? Oh, we're absolutely getting the merchants to row. We're absolutely making the merchants row. To be honest, this is probably one of the best things we can do for them, because if they're rowing, they, their customers can't complain quite as much. They can still complain, but at least they're not just watching all of their customers do the work that they never signed up to do. That is a good question, Sign. <laughs> I'll go out on a limb and say that Kasha is protecting the passengers. Since we don't see him on the deck, he's got to be somewhere, and that's probably where he is. Uh, what's going on? This is different. Up on deck. A huge sea monster. Let's go beg us some sea monsters.
That monster must be gigantic. I'm taking a break until they've cleared out the monsters. <laughs> We're running low on Orbsman and I'm getting nervous. Well, this guy trusts us at this point. <laughs> Understandable. How many monsters does this make? Ah, it's a lot of monsters, isn't it? Oh my. Ah, well, so much for those two. Oh. We got ourselves a giant squid. A kraken, even. Alright, I guess I should have expected a boss fight, shouldn't I? Alright, let's set up the gin. Go ahead and sap. You do need some health. And boost agility, and... Well, let's see if we can put it to sleep. Feels unlikely, but if we can. the last boss we fought was able to use multiple attacks in one turn, so I do need to be careful. Yep, just continue tweaking everybody's stats here and there. Ivan's taking a lot of damage. Don't like that. Oh. Let's use this on you, Isaac. And you're going to heal Ivan. I didn't even know. That is such a good gin. Wow. So what this means is he should get to both use a summon and heal people if needed. And that looks like it's going to be needed. Heal himself, actually. Wow. Alright, Isaac. You're going to use Judgment on that Kraken and heal yourself. You are going to go ahead and do this. Ivan, you're going to use another chin. See if we can cloud his vision and make it a little less likely that he just keeps hitting us for large amounts of damage. up, and immediately takes another 84 damage. Oh, Ivan, you're very close to dead. It's okay. We are going to continue healing. Garrett, you only have a level 3 summon available, but that's fine. Ivan, you're summoning Gore. And you are summoning Boreas. Let's see if it survives all of this. Oh, 
looks like he might be weak to fire, huh? Okay. Oh, nice! Down he goes! Pretty good. So far, that Jin sequence into summon spam has handled all of the bosses. They are getting pretty spicy, though. That Kraken nearly caught Ivan down, honestly. It was very close. <laughs> we lost another Aorus, but... Alright, where's that other merchant? Hey you! Yes I am! <laughs> Take your place! Alright, let's hope we don't run into any more monsters, or any larger monsters. That Kraken was already pretty spooky. Seagulls again. Uh oh, they're running away again. Oh, for a good reason this time. Land ho! didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> I mean, this guy I picked because it's like, well, if you're already a fighter, it, it's, it's good to work those muscles at the very least, right? <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm glad we could help. Yeah, don't want to miss the festival, do we? Alright. <laughs> they don't stand a chance if Isaac enters. <laughs> a group- oh. Really? Tell me more. He's not going to tell me more. Some strange stunts. <laughs> yeah, I would like to know. So apparently Sapphires and Nardi already came through here. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> this guy's like, I have been vindicated. My lucky charm saved the day again. <laughs> didn't hurt me. The Orisman are on strike. They're like, nope, I am not here to be attacked by monsters. Oh, jeez. I'm glad we all made it through. Some of us a little more roughed up than others, but we made it through okay.
Okay, nobody up here. Alright, and to Tolby we go. Yeah, we did. I wonder why that sea is so dangerous all of a sudden. I think we're done sailing for a while. We already lost one ship. <laughs> Yeah, that Kraken was a little spooky. You guys were lucky you had us on, on had us on board. Yeah, they have a message. Yep. And honestly, it's probably a good thing they stayed behind considering the trip we had. Oh, no, it wasn't seasickness. It was a lot of monsters. I don't feel like going sailing anymore. Keep heading west. Okay. That was a big undertaking. I'm sure it'll be worth it. Now the ship's not launching. I mean, I guess you do what you have to, right? <laughs> All crossings cancelled. We could have made so much money on those tickets. Bad luck, I guess. Yes, the books don't appear to contain anything novel. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You see what you did there, game? Oh, we can build a bridge over here, and there's a treasure chest. There's Tolby. Okay, so what's around Tolby? Before we go into town, we are always going to do this. Ooh. You look new. You also seem like you might be dangerous, so you're going down first. Energy time. Still going to let Ivan recover. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Whoops. That's okay. It was only the mole that lived. Is this the other end of that cave? It is! Ooh, well we're definitely going through here. Let's see if we can find a way back through. And whatever else is hiding in here. 
my. You two are new. Alright, let's see if we can auto-attack you down. Absolutely. Very good. Ape. Okay. That is a magnificent shade of pink. Lucky metal. And there's another treasure chest up here. Ooh, apples too. Nice. Two of them! <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, look at that. Look at that coloring. How can you not be intimidated? Useful synergy. It's, such, it's it's great to just heal the whole party at once. Ooh, clay spire. Ah, okay, just the other way around. Oh, and a rat warrior with the same coloring as those monkeys. So we can get all the way back over to the other side. Nice. And we can also get deeper in and see what else is in here. Maybe a gin. Up or down? Let's go down first. Oh, this is right back where we came from. <laughs> Oops. Ended up going in a circle. Oh, because I went up the first time. Gotcha. I wonder if I missed anything in here. I think I did. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked everything, so we'll head on out. So we have a passage that goes back through the mountains and over to the other side. Good to know. That's the docks, and Tolby up there. Let's head down this way. What is this? An armored rat? 
Oh wow, that thing is not taking much damage. It's not kidding when it said armor when it's defending. Fair enough. Gondolin Passage. Not like anyone's ever going to attack the bridge. Oh, yes, definitely impossible. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, fair enough. Wow. Okay, so we can just head over there if we want. Interesting. I'll take his advice. We'll go head towards Colosso instead. And remember that this is an area we can come to. So there's a bridge over here. There's a cave up that way, and another bridge on the left. Let's head left first, and then we'll head back over to the east and see what's in that cave. Oh! Oh hey, I think I found that last gin! Well then. Hello there, you. Time to nuke you until you decide to join me. Five for me, I think. Yes, gotcha. Alright. And I think from what Sign said earlier, that should be the last of the Overworld's Jin. In this game, at least. Which means I don't have to worry about wandering around in the Overworld anymore. Which is much appreciated. Or not wandering around in the Overworld. Wandering around in the Overworld and also looking for more of these things. Oh, the gin? Yeah. It, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure they understand. I mean, they're the ones who attacked us first. We're just we're just kind of proving to them that, they're, that we're worth traveling with, right? Or something? <laughs> it's like Pokemon. <laughs> we fight them and then they respect us enough to join us. are not particularly resilient. Not complaining. Cave on the left. still alive. Alt Miller Cave. Uh, what is going on here? Why do I have a light around me? Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. Oh, these are new. Huh. 
All right, let's break out some synergy here. I don't know what they're going to do, but they look spooky. Go ahead. May as well. Golem has a lot of resistance, doesn't it? I do not like how dark it's getting. Oh, it's just super dark. Oh, but we can use reveal. Oh, that's going to be very helpful. Okay. A play gargoyle. There's two mad bulls. I'm more worried about the gargoyle than anything else here. Those moles have not impressed me. was a mimic. Oh, that's right. I forgot that the gym would go directly to you. Um, <laughs> well, let's go ahead and use that again. I need to give that to Mia. I don't like not having Ragnarok. Although, I guess I could have tried out that cutting edge and see what it does. Yeah, you know what, that's probably a good idea. There's no harm in experimenting with classes, after all. Ooh, good stun. may not live long enough for us to use it here, but we'll just use it on the next enemy we're in, too. Oh, perfect. Cutting edge. Unless Iphon kills it first. Iphon's really fast. Try this one more time. Okay. It's a pretty straightforward, and I think that's water element. Oh wow. Okay, that guy hit me up really hard. Um, a water element. Single target attack. Go ahead and set this over to Mia, though. Nothing new. But back to the classes we're familiar with. Dead end over here. Okay. Um, 
Is this a ghost? Wrapped in synergetic light. And you can see me. As you can see, you're invisible. Oh, that's right. I ran out of my draft and collapsed here. What kind of draft is it? Could you do me a favor? We don't even know you. What, is there a pharmacy down there? Witty, aren't we? Uh, sure, why not? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Gear it with the actually reasonable response. <laughs> I'm like, if someone's in trouble, we should help. <laughs> Gear it over here like how much she is. You guys trust everyone you run into. Five rocks sticking out of the ground. Rotate the ones on the left and right. And five lights will appear. This sounds weird. Lights will appear on the wall. Blue, green, white, yellow, and red. And turn the five rocks in accordance with those colors. Alright, spin the rocks in accordance with the color of the light. I should be writing this down, shouldn't I? Alright, blue. Then green, white, yellow, red. We have to rotate the ones on the left and right first. Ivan's like, let me make sure I got this right. A door, somewhere deep in a cave. Who put it there? An ancient civilization. Alright, well, if he's really immobilized... No, I didn't. Turn the ones on the ends first, yes, yes. What are you thinking? Hmm. That maybe he is in trouble. That would have been pretty obvious, but... Passage up there, okay. Oh, and we can't get through on this side. Well, let's go ahead and use some synergy here. Again. 
Yeah, we're, we're going to let Ivan just coast here. He's busy using reveal left all, not all over the place. So everyone else gets to use Synergy in combat. They were probably all just about to die. Fair enough. Okay, let's try left first. Oh, there is a way through. Oh wait, there was a way through right... Oh, or is this the other side? It is. Okay, so I have a passage down. There's a treasure chest up here that I want to get first. And then there was that sneaky little passage all the way in the upper left that I should probably go back and check out. Oh, because that's where we're going to get that treasure chest, isn't it? Okay, all the way around we go. A what now? Okay. <laughs> These guys have been pretty hard hitting. This is probably the spookier enemy. Let's see if we can auto attack you down. Okay. Does hit harder than the golems, so yeah, definitely the spookier enemy. through there the first time. That's okay. And give treasure. I don't know what's in the box until I open it, but it belongs to me. survive. Oh! Oh wow. I was not expecting both bats. <sighs> Sorry. I was not expecting both bats to survive. But that's okay. Wish, and we are on our way. <laughs> yep, definitely using some more Gaia's. annoying as it is, and kind of gross. I love the detail that they're just raising their arms and letting their body odor assault us. <laughs> it's, uh... uh kind of nasty. Oh, 
Oh, right. Right over here. It's not going to take much damage from that. Again? Okay, we got one. Got two. Good. I'm kind of caught between trying to balance synergy use so I can regenerate some and wanting to end these before they do too much damage to me. Oh, and this part of the cave is well lit. Nice. We've got another passage leading down over there. He's almost dead. Don't worry. I'm not going to worry too much about the defense up after he's already taken a full round of attacks. Ooh, I see a Jupiter chin over there. Okay, so what I need to do is push this down. How am I going to. Oh, I see. Okay, so if we push you up. Can I get around it? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. So if I freeze this, we should be able to push it back down, then go around and push the other one over. And then go all the way up and around get into this sneaky little gym. Oh, this one wants to fight. Lovely. Alright, you asked for it. Okay, I'm glad I decided to heal. Yeah, you just stick to healing, I think. Excellent. Gotcha. I might actually give this one to Garrett and, and trade off the Venus Gin give it to Isaac. Actually, I'm curious. I, I want to see what happens if we do this. Oh, he gets Astral Blast. You know what, let's try it. See what happens. You know what does Astral Blast look like? Is it a cool attack? This is an important question. The most important. Oh, I'm dark again. Okay, let's head this way first. That is not a secret passage. Worms and moles, lovely. Yeah, honestly, they... A lot of the puzzles in this game are really cleverly done, where they actually take advantage of the limitations of the hardware. 
and basically count on you spotting, okay, wait a minute, the base of the pillar is the only thing that should be on the ground. The, st the part sticking up is just blocking my view. Ooh, treasure. Gimme. Oh, no way. Oh, so... <laughs> I lucked into this and found the path straight to that chest. Very good. Oh, this'll be a wind element single target attack, then. Cool. if I wasn't supposed to go into town first, and then come into this cave. There's a little path down that way, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, and I need to take it. so glad I found the path to that chest, it would have taunted me, and I would have gone all the way back for it. Okay, pillar puzzles, round two. So if I push that one to the left, it blocks that entrance completely. But if I do that, it also lets me push this one down. Which doesn't do enough, does it? Yeah, Garrett's, uh... We haven't actually found too many good weapons for him and Isaac in a while. Okay, what's up here before I start moving pillars around? Yeah, most of the weapons I've been finding have been ones for Ivan and Mia, not Isaac and Garrett. I'm sure that'll change. We'll find them eventually. No, you don't have... Okay, so he doesn't have any multi-target attacks right now. I'm going to actually go ahead and just splurge a bit on Synergy with this pack. This seems dangerous. Yeah, wow. That does damage, doesn't it? Oh, 
There we go. Oh. Huh. Okay. So this entire puzzle is a trick to make you strain your brain and waste your time, because there's no way to actually get in there without just jumping down here first. And that is... Honestly, that is really clever and rude at the same time. Okay, so just interact with them. Wasn't sure if I'd have to use Synergy. Uh, okay, let me start referencing my notes. Okay, so I'm guessing white first, which is the middle one. And that's yellow, so right over here. Oh, does it? That's actually really, really clever. Um, okay, I hope that was supposed to happen. It, uh, oh, that's... You know, I don't think I would have ever tried that. That's really cool. Reveal is just, like, the best synergy in the world, isn't it? It's so good. Mystic Draft. Alright, well we found it. I'm tempted to retreat, head all the way over to Tolby and check out the town and then come back. Because I'm starting to suspect I know what this is, and that I was actually supposed to go into town first. Plus, you know, it's actually going to be faster to just retreat to the entrance and then go back in. So, let's go ahead and do that. Aha! And we found our way into this gym. Excellent. The character is just going to have a weird kaleidoscope of Jin right now, isn't he? doing single-digit damage per hit, and I do not like it. Alright, let's head into town. Let's see if we can find out what this thing is that we're about to give this guy who's invisible. Let's see if anybody knows anything about this cave and who might be poking around inside of it while invisible. <laughs> Alright, Ivan. Time to read the mind of everybody in town. Um, maybe? lucky metal and get really lucky, you'll get a better prize than you would with a coin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gave. <laughs> you should listen to your sister. Yep, no, I remember what you said earlier, sign. I went another lucky metal. Nice. Have you seen the contestants? They're huge! Really? 
Ooh, okay. <laughs> the Coliseum's too crowded. I'm just gonna watch the finals. <laughs> Kinda wish I'd gone, though. Oh, hey. I remember you. That would be last minute nerves. What kind of chance are we talking about? Oh, oh sure. I will absolutely take more of those. Clean up my inventory, don't I? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's take a moment and do that. Oh, okay, that explains a bit. I didn't realize that he had to sacrifice using the shield to use those. I could give it to Garrett. And the others can't equip it, so may as well. Ivan, you're hanging on to... Oh, I can probably go ahead and drop this. Don't think I need that anymore. Yeah, Ivan's hanging on to our stat boosters. No, no, he's not. Mia was, right. Alright, inventory sort sorting commencing. Oh, Mia was also hanging on to these. Okay. And Mia's inventory is fine. You need to... or er, you, rather, need to send... Oh, nothing. Over to Hyphen. The smoke bombs, though, we can... Let's clean out your inventory a little bit and just make everything Ivan is carrying the stuff that we're selling. He can get some good practice at being a merchant. I'm sure um, I'm sure his boss would be proud. I'm trying to remember his name again. Um, I think that's everything we're going to sell. I do want to hang on to the herbs. Actually, no, I, I take it back. We do not need herbs anymore. 50 HP is just irrelevant at this point. We can clean that out. Yeah, we do still have the grout. It's a weird potion. We'll go back and give it to him at some point. Sooner than later, but I did want to come by Toldy. Because I'm starting to think I should have come in here first before heading up to that cave. You have absolutely nothing I haven't seen. Oh, wait a minute. This is new. And is, yet again, another weapon for neither of these two, and is good for one of the two of you. Go ahead. Mia really does have a lot of attack. Wow.
like, yeah, she has almost as much attack as I as Isaac right now, and Isaac's the one who has a, an accessory that's boosting his attack equipped. I, I mean, he's been there for who knows how long already. I'm sure he'll be fine for a little while longer. One of Babby's guards. Interesting. Oh, I guess I should check out the normal weapons, huh? They might actually be handy. Armored shells, silver vests, strickens, knight shields... Guardian circlet. Yeah, these are... Okay, we should probably upgrade our equipment a little bit here. Same for the two of you. So, bracelets and gloves. Yep, that's another 9 and 10 defense for each of you. Oh, darn it. Well, I guess I will have to do a little bit more inventory sorting later. We'll just go ahead with this and have him hand over the tickets later. We'll go a little bit faster. Yeah, that's not worth it. Also not worth it there. It's two defense, but also resists fire, so... I wonder if that's worth it for her. I don't think it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is 141. This is 144. Uh, 152. Yeah, let's go ahead and give that to you. That agility is really good for you. I'm going to keep that elven shirt. Ooh, or... Alternatively, I give the shirt to Mia, and then give him the armored shell for more defense. I think we're okay for now. So let's check out these basic weapons. Two thirty-six, huh? And one ninety. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. 196, 244. Yeah, so this, a couple of these would do a lot to... Oh, jeez, that price tag, though. Oof, 7,000 each. Arr, I think it's worth it. Maybe? Nyeh. What I'll do is I'll come back here after we finish wandering around town. Oh, I guess we can't make it in. That's unfortunate. A lighthouse. Babby Lighthouse. That's right, we did hear about that before. Another lucky medal. <laughs> he just takes a cut of all the money we earn. That's how to make money. <laughs> yep, 
yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is I'll do the tosses and see what we get. Oh, um, maybe? I'm pretty sure Babby is a lot older than 100. What if Babby is somebody entirely different who's just using the name? How come I'm stuck here doing my job instead of partying? I'm 65 now, so just imagine how old he must be. Wow. And he just stays the same. You have a gambling addiction, my merchant friend. Alright, time to save. I... I kind of want to look this up and see what exactly you get from this, or what you can get. Mysterious powers. I wish I could face forward. How oh, lucky! Hey, yeah, you need to go find those for yourself. Huh. and see what happens. I'm curious. Oh! Oh, wow. I should have thrown a lucky medal. Maybe we get 20 coins back. Okay. So I need to be careful with timing this. Don't I? Yeah. Oh shoot, and the crab stays moving and aggressive if you hit it. Okay. But you can still get in the middle even if you hit something. Huh. Metal, see what we get. Once that turtle moves a little bit. Oh, jeez. Well, that was very unfortunate. Okay, so after they get hit three times, they go back to stage one. Okay, I did save before we started this, so. center. Not bad. What do we get? Ooh. Oh. Okay, that does sound pretty good. Alright, what else can we get? Uh-oh. Oh, that was not as good. Still got something out of it. A ninja hood. We just get the entire Shadows of the Night set here. Oh, jeez. These critters are not helping at all, are they? Psy Crystal, okay.
Oh, jeez. It just got completely cornered up there. Ooh. A kimono. Let me toss some normal coins. <laughs> just until these things... Yeah, well, let's, let's just get these things back to normal as much as we can. Oh, come on, really? It somehow navigated all the way through everything, but the lucky metals don't. What? How didn't that... It didn't hit the purple turtle, really? Here, land right on it. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, they're both blue. That's not as terrible. Try and hit that crab. There we go. You want to hit it one more time. There we go. Okay. That should make things a little bit easier. Yeah, the, the coins apparently go directly into the middle, like, every time. Without fail. Ooh! And... there we go. Dead center. Ooh! Spirit armor. There is some neat-sounding stuff in here. Gonna wait for that other turtle to move a little bit. And now the other one's in the way. Okay, here we go. Oh shoot! Oh um, Darn it! <laughs> the other crab. actually worked out pretty well. An Earth Shield. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> at least it landed on the target. And that's another piece of equipment. Guardian Armlet. Those turtles. Ow, oh, jeez. That crab on the bottom has killed two of my coins, I don't like it. Ooh, and we still got something really cool out of it. Okay, so the Lucky Metals are pretty much set to get something good. Like, in the worst case scenario, you get a Psy Crystal or a Water of Life. Best case scenario, you get some fun equipment. I'm wait for these turtles to move over to the other side. And nice! Last coin lands dead center. I'm okay with this. Oh, you can get repeats! Huh. Okay, well, let's see what we ended up getting here. We got some cool stuff. Mortal Danger. And boosts agility. Why are they all red? These other ones aren't. Boosts agility and resists fire. Oh no, you know who wants this? Is you. Yes, absolutely. Resist all. Oh wow. And we got two of these, didn't we? So one each for Isaac and Garrett. Oh, 
Oh, you know, this is something I probably have missed. I think when it says use, you basically go into your inventory in battle and use it like you would a normal consumable item. Huh. I don't even think I want the Earth Shield, honestly. The ones I've got equipped are already pretty good. It does have more defense, and I imagine he already has some decent fire resistance, so... Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's fair. Would probably be a little overpowered if you could just reuse the shield for 150 hit points constantly. Unleashes Broil. Well, you know what? I think we're giving this one to Garrett, because, uh, it seems like it's right up his alley. And, yeah, Isaac, go ahead. These seem pretty good. Let's go unload all of our old equipment. Okay, I'm suddenly really glad I went to the spring first. We got some good stuff out of that. I feel like there's more, but obviously we're out of coins, so we'll have to come back at some point. Oh, right. Let's help. <laughs> Take all of my old junk, please. Yeah, what rare stuff? It's a bunch of rare junk, is what it is. Yeah, we can always buy it back later. rest of this inventory. I think that's everything. Yeah, that should be everything. Oh, and here, you can give this over to Mia. It feels appropriate for Mia to be carrying that anyway. Okay. Oh, that went really well, I think. I've been into these houses already, right? Yeah. Oh, I haven't been in here. Fair enough. Crowds are a definite no-no. Oh! Babby is missing, huh? It does help to have a good night of sleep when you want to enjoy something. Oh. <laughs> We're full, sorry. No room for anybody else. So we'd have to go to the palace if we want to find an inn. We're going to make so much money while the tournament is going. Wait a minute. Did I see a gin up there? No, but there's definitely something going on up there. I need to find a way down there. we can go around here once we do that. Okay, let's go do that. Let's 
snacks and drinks. Well, you're not selling anything. Souvenirs. We have to sell all of these before the end of the tournament. Why do kids want such awful stuff? Good luck, Mom. <laughs> Your kid is very determined. Just like, it's a waste of money, you'll forget it exists in, like, a week. The dad is not helping. I mean, fair enough. Archways do make good roofs. Wait, oh, it didn't start yet. Huh. I wonder if that's tied to Babby not being there for the tryouts. Starting to have a suspicion about who exactly we found in that cave. Um, no. No, we have not. I've seen someone with a silhouette that looks very familiar to that, but I have not seen that face. <laughs> okay, so that leads further up. in here already, right? Yeah, I did. It's very lively here. <laughs> Nobody else is allowed in here. We paid for this. Oh, there is a Mars gin up there. Carrots over here, like, finally I get another one. Lucky wheels. Uh, no, hang on. Oh, a slot machine. Lovely. All the best items, you say? Alright, let's save and take a shot at this. Oh, okay, and... Oh, gotcha. So every ticket you use increases the number of ro uh, the, or the number of ways you can create a combo. Hmm. Fair enough. Let's throw all four in and see what happens. Huh. So we get to lock some of these in position, and then the rest of them start to spin. Again. I'm not sure which icons I should go for. Let's go for the boots. And if I lock this one in... Then we can go diagonally, or across any of the middles. And this one... 
actually helps two of those outcomes already, so I'll lock these two and spin again. Oh. Huh. Okay. So we'll lock you. I don't know about these two. Honestly, I'm not even sure about this one. If I lock this one, then all we have to do is land on the fourth one in these next three rolls, and we win. Huh. Let's try it. See what happens. Uh, that's a no. Alright, one more time. Oh. Oh well. Let's try again. See what happens. Don't think I'm going to use all my tickets here. Hmm. I wonder if the icons correspond to what type of item it is. And I have no idea what the heart would be. Oh, but the hearts might just be for healing items. Hats would probably be helmets, boots would be something else, and the shirts would be a chest piece. Huh. Okay, let's go ahead and lock these three. And spin again. I think... Hmm, I'm kind of looking at this and I think the best way to play it is actually to try and line up multiple types of wins at the same time, if you can. Wait a minute. Are moons a wild card? Fur boots. What are these? Oh, handy. Oh, this is a new equipment slot that we don't have yet. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we definitely want boots. Ow. lock these first two in place, and spin the rest. Ah. Unfortunate. I could change it, unlock you, and lock these two. Huh. I think... Actually, I think I'm going to just re-roll all three of these. Again. Okay, well now we're just pulling this one out. Lock those. Oh shoot, no! Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Darn it. I mean, kind of worked out anyway, but still not quite what I wanted to do. Alright, two more rolls. Oh, darn it. Alright, let's try again. Okay. Let's lock the one in the middle. Um... Lock these two as well. Okay, not bad, not bad. Four in a row already. 
Nope. Nope again. And nope again. Ah. Oh, well, jackpot on the first roll this time. Not bad. Hyper boots. Now what do those do? Oh, really? Yeah, Isaac, you're getting that. Okay, let's see if we can get one more. Or two more, ideally. Okay, we'll lock you, you, and you, and them for the top row. This one on the right, which unfortunately, this middle one I think is the easiest one to land boots on because it has three of them in a row. So it's getting the other four to line up that's the trick. Ah, come on. Ah. Let's try one more time. Lock these three and see where that fourth row ends up. Bottom. Okay, unlock that. Lock both of you. Oh, and this actually works out really well, so we can now get a win going diagonally or down the bottom. So we have two spots it can land for us to get a jackpot. There we go. Oh, that's going to be really good for Mia, isn't it? I don't think Isaac's going to need those, he's already very fast. Yep, defense and agility. Go get him, Mia. We're going to make you fast. I love to come back here when I have more tickets. Those boots are really nice. Maybe I think too much. We call that beginner's luck. Oh, does this one just cost money? Oh, okay, so it's it just gives you more money if you end up getting lucky. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't have items on the table, I'm not really interested. I hate cheating nobody. Okay, we'll take we'll go one round and see what exactly it involves and if it maybe involves anything that's not just money. But I don't think it is. I think this is just literally gambling with coins for more coins. That's all this is, is you spend 200 coins every time you try, and get more coins depending on the results. Nope, that one in the top right, up here, this is where it's at. Did I? I don't think I went into the inn yet, did I? I did not. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> the tour group 
Notice that they didn't make it here, that's good. Maybe you should build a bigger inn for next year. So barbaric. Yep, 2D calls, huh? Yeah, uh, prepping good food is already... It, it takes effort and time, and when you're trying to make a lot of food at once, it's hard to make sure it all stays quality. I'm going to the finals no matter what! You should make reservations now for the next year. <laughs> Otherwise, good luck actually finding anything you're trying to get. A tour group from Calais. They only reserved two rooms, but they have so many people. <laughs> yeah, I know that tour group. Where will they sleep? trying to figure out which two rooms they're in. Maybe upstairs. Oh, did these two not make it in? Ah, oh. I was looking forward to fighting them. I mean, may as well, right? <laughs> can see it and maybe tr uh, have a better idea of what you're in for next year. Oh, there is no upstairs. Huh. Where is this tour group hiding? I don't know. Maybe they're not here because they're over at Colosso, which would also make sense. Okay, let's get our hands on this gin. over in the corner mocking me. Oh, not close enough. Up we go. And freeze. Let's go get Garrett another Mars Gin. We found so many other Gin, just the Mars Gin have been very rare. Yep. Isaac, you're going to trade that over to here for Brown. Blast and Mant Blast. Ooh, Guard and Protect. Oh, that could actually be really cool. What does it do to Mia's, though? Prism, Plasma, Impact, Bind. Oh, but she loses all of the healing. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, we'll just keep it on Garrett for now. Here. Yeah, that was the one who rented the room and wants us gone. All right, let's see what's going up on, on uh, going on up on this side of town. Abby's palace. Should the palace really be open to the public in such circumstances? Guard asking the right questions over here. Oh, okay. So he loans the rooms out to the fighters. Oh, 
nothing there. Wow. Surprising. It's a very out of the way box. Yeah, we did. He, apparently, he's missing. So this is where we can stay. Uh, no, not at the moment. But thank you. That's very considerate. Oh, <laughs> just like, I want to watch. <laughs> uh, sure, definitely. We better leave right away. Trials are underway. That's unfortunate. A little indigestion. Yeah, that seems like a problem. Also seems like a bad idea to force it. <laughs> yeah. Overeating is probably a bad idea. Yep. So that's where the rooms are. Nothing in there. Ah, gimme. Ooh, another lucky metal. I don't think I'm going to go using them as I find them. I'll wait to bank up a few before I do that. Okay. Fair enough. Sonor seems to have lost a lot of money playing dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that tracks. I'm not sure. Sign. I think I did. Is that the tunnel that heads back to Calais? Because I did go in there, but I didn't exit the other end. Oh, well maybe I haven't explored it as thoroughly as I should have. Do you know what the name of the gin in there is? statue in any of the tunnels I've been in tonight, so maybe I haven't been there yet. Passes from Iodem, huh? Alright, Scorch? Okay, I do not have that one yet. Is that the tunnel that leads from here all the way back to Calais? This is Iodum. Altmiller Cave. Oh yeah, we were over there already. Why did you send us to look for him in a place like that? Inconceivable. Is that what you were going to say? It's an evil place. <laughs> Eccentricities. Huh. I'll have to head back over there. And this isn't the first time it's happened.
Wow, I must have missed that. Jeez. What was he doing in there? Oh. Yeah, we did kind of run into an invisible person in that cave, didn't we? <laughs> but if he always returned before... Then he should be back soon. <laughs> Something puzzles me. Huh. So he's been out all night. <laughs> that is the problem. Speak no such foolishness. I'm sure he's alive and well. He's uh, yeah, he was alive the last time we saw him. We kind of abandoned him in the cave. I'm sure he's okay though. He'll be fine, I'm sure. What could possibly happen to him? Oh wow, look at all of this. Wait a minute, didn't we see one of these in Creighton's cottage? Ancient Venus ruins lay buried under Babby Light. He's building his lighthouse on top of the Venus lighthouse? Oh, we're out of synergy. Oh, okay, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so on the left then. I wonder if this is the right idea. <laughs> um. Good night, everybody. I figured this would just be a way to recover our synergy, but... And also, all of the mines are red. And there are still more to read. Yes, yeah, so we've got another day of hard work reading minds and figuring out what exactly is going on. Right, I have already been in here. And here too, right? Yeah, that's the guardhouse. Okay, so left and down. And what's all this about him building his lighthouse on top of Venus ruins? The remnants of a magnificent ancient civilization. Huh. Oh-ho! His favorite scholar, Creighton. So, this is where Creighton started out, is it? Probably. Well, apparently something involving alchemy. Ah. 
Aha! There we go. <laughs> Why would it have been sealed away? It's meant to... Oh! So Creighton was always trying to revive alchemy. Was he? I mean, we kind of got that. He was... well... Our first impression of him was that he was just trying to learn about it. Not that he was trying to unseal it. Yeah, he does. Huh. So the experiments are improving. Interesting. Study of the Venus Ruins. Experiments in alchemy. Experiments failing. I have so many questions for Creighton. He's the only one of us who knows what's going on, and he barely has any idea what's going on. An extremely long tunnel beneath those ruins. Huh. You know, something tells me that building a lighthouse on top of an ancient ruin- or the ruins of an ancient civilization not gonna end well. Just a hunch. Wow, okay, his palace is enormous. There are so many rooms in this place. means he's been out all night. It's Babby's diary. This... oh. Huh. So he's expecting he might die soon, and we found him kind of collapsed and unable to move on the floor of a tunnel. Or a cave, rather. Huh. Sheba. Oh, that might be the girl that they mentioned earlier. The town of Lalavero. On, oh, on the southern continent, then. Okay. A child of the gods. But she looks like an average kid to me. So, she's not allowed to leave this room. It's kind of unfortunate for her. Oh. Oh, yikes. Okay. The Suhala. She caught on to us reading her mind, didn't she? So she's an adept. Yeah, she does look similar to someone, doesn't she? Especially if she caught on to the mind reading, that means she's probably a Jupiter adept. And if we go look at a certain somebody, blonde hair, purple eyes, that does check out. Ivan, say something. She looks a little bit similar to you. Maybe you're related. Colosseum Tunnel? Oh, is this on the way to Colosso? I find it amusing that he has a tunnel directly to the Colosseum in his palace. Oh, it's locked. Huh. Rude. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, okay, so it's a tunnel to the stands, and I guess the door that's locked is the one for the fighters to go through. I'm cheering for you, little guy. Hang on a minute. So, this statue up here is actually very interesting to see. So this statue is 
one that we've seen in a cut in two places before this. We've seen it in Mount Elef in the in the uh, Soul Sanctum, and we've also seen it at the Mercury Lighthouse. I don't know if it's a replica, but it's interesting that we see it here. having a hard time pushing that pillar, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> didn't manage it. Disqualified. Well, I think we can uh, probably make our way through that. What fantastic physiques, if I were younger. There are a lot of uh, rather corny individuals in town, aren't there? <laughs> See if I can go through the front to get into the Colosseum, and if not, we'll go help out Babby. We have stalled long enough, I think. Oh, so people are betting on this. I want to win big, so I pick the one person nobody else thinks is going to win. Yeah, I mean, you know, you might want to try picking someone that has a decent shot of winning. There's such a long line. <laughs> yeah, so there's no way in from here, huh? First timers all make that mistake. You have to get here early if you want to make it in. Fair enough. I wonder if I can place a bet on myself. Oh. <laughs> Entrants can't pick their own team members, that way the matches aren't fixed. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, let's go find Babby. Or rather, go find Babby again and give him his draft so that hopefully he can get himself off the floor of a cave. Oh wow. Okay, those spats do a lot of damage. We just upgraded everybody's equipment, and they still hit for her for a hundred. Alright, into the cave we go. Let's go find Babby. Alright. I'm going to respect these bats now.
<laughs> Everybody's like, no, go away. We have no interest in that. Alright, Babby, where are you again? I think it was... There you are. I'm sure he's still alive, right? Oh, I can't even read his mind before we give it to him. Alright. You saved my life. Yep, that is in fact Babby. It's a man! What are you talking about? What did you expect? We couldn't see who was talking. Uh, okay, I guess a little bit. How did you become paralyzed while invisible? An adult? What are you talking about? Garrett's like, it spill. <laughs> Babby's like, uh, I guess, yes, I, I, that is definitely what I was doing. Something in his tail doesn't sound right. <laughs> Mind read. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> And that wasn't the synergy he was using. It was the power of an ancient civilization. Have <laughs> you over here like, yo, what? How do you know? <laughs> Have I finally found the true Lemurians? Wait, <laughs> what's Lemuria? Lemuria, maybe? So I was wrong. Are you searching for these Lemurians? You can have anything you want. Why would you want to find these Lemurians? <laughs> this body's had it. I mean, everybody gets old. Yes. And Crichton said alchemy could thwart death itself. And Babby over here like, wait a minute, you guys know Crichton? <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Looks like his soldiers finally turned up. You're not glad we found you? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Babby's like, wait, how long have I been stuck in this cave? They saved my life, and that's all you need to know. If 
that's what we have to do. <laughs> We've not heard your names yet. <laughs> Introductions all around. Garrett's like, alright, names. Baby's like, oh no, wait a moment. I want to see you in action. You have some interesting powers. <laughs> but the trials, my lord. <laughs> and you don't think saving my life qualifies as a trial? The soldiers are like, we, we probably shouldn't be questioning our lord to... <laughs> this extent. He's already annoyed with us for showing up at the wrong time. Yes, he is. He wants to see us fight using our synergy. That's what it is. I mean, sure, it'll be fun. is like, he seems like he knows a lot about what's going on. We'll just have to do our best. Alright, back to Tolby we go. Let's go enter a tournament. I mean, if these if these poor contestants are having problems pushing a pillar around, and we can just do that with our minds, this is going to be a very one-sided one-sided tournament in the end. Oh right. <laughs> Let's see, that cave was down here somewhere, wasn't it? Oh! Oh, that just has a chance to instantly kill its target? That's insane! Let's see... The Gondoan Cave, and you said this was the Calais Tunnel? Let's do some backtracking, then. Oh wait, no, not move. I need lift. There you are. A clay tunnel should be back on the other side here of the ocean. Somewhere near clay, I imagine. Quake Sphere. That's right, that's right, you, you were talking about this. Hang on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said northeast and I'm like, hang on a minute. This looks like something I can jump over. So I just never even saw this. Yeah, thank you for pointing it out. I would have missed this completely. I need to be paying better attention. Wow. Okay, so I think if I push the statue in front of this, it may block it.
and drain the water. And give Jin. Well, that was actually very straightforward. is in here. So there's a tunnel down. This place seems really big. Wow. trying to figure this out, was thinking, hang on, this looks like the same room I just left. Not quite. Oh, <laughs> we're in the palace again. Interesting. Okay. So what I need to do is find a way to move that statue all the way out here. wonder... hang on... if I go back and pull that other statue out, does that change anything? Oh, it's already out. Okay. So, no, is the answer. There's gotta be a way in there. What it might be is it might be something that has to wait until after I rescue Hammett. No, yeah, because there's no way through here. And I can't push the statue over there because it's stuck behind this. Yeah, this definitely feels like there's going to be a switch somewhere that opens this gate. Yeah, that's okay. We'll come back. We'll definitely be back in this town at some point after we get Hammett out of his current predicament. And something tells me that whatever Babby is using to turn invisible, that's going to be our ticket into that fortress. Lunpa. Alright. Back out of town, back through the cave, and off to the other side of the mountain we go. It's Colosso time! Yeah, I think it's just right across here. Lift the boulder and on our way out. Wow, three of them. Okay, wait a minute. Why does Isaac have 400 health and the others only have, like, 250-ish? Oh, it's because... Okay, I see. Hang on go ahead and give this to you. Yeah, because he's gotten another class rank up because he has six gym instead of five. Okay, cool.
So I think I'm currently missing one Venus, two Mars, one Jupiter, and two Mercury gem. Total in this first part of the story. High impact. Okay. Alright, into Tolby we go. I don't think we're going to make it in through the front entrance, so let's head through the palace instead. Yes. Yes, he is. Oh. Go directly to the Colosseum. Okay. Sure. Yeah, it is seven of each. I'm not convinced they belong in the finals. You wouldn't play favorites like that. What could they possibly have that he wants? Yeah, it's seven each. I'm, I'm kind of going from the other save file that I have here when I say that, but I'm pretty sure it's seven each in this first part of the game, and then eighteen of each once you finish the second. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Catch me later. It costs too much. This guy's trying to extort people for good seats, isn't he? <laughs> yeah! You spend a lot of money on these seats planning to sell them, and then can't sell them, you're going to be out a lot more money than you were making, were planning to make. The Sculptor's Dilemma. Hey, you're Isaac. That's Isaac, the one Babby picked. He's just a kid. What does Babby think Colosso is? A playground? It's an insult. Isaac and company over here, like, we're going to curb stomp all of you normal people. <laughs> I mean, I imagine they'll put up a fight, but... Alright. In we go. <laughs> we just skip past the entire line. Wait, what? Um... Well, um, I wasn't expecting it to be a 1v1. Let's get it over with, Isaac. Isaac's like, cure it, you have no faith in me. Abby say we're supposed to do while Isaac is competing. You can cheer him on from the stage. Yes. Ivan, what are you plotting? <laughs> I don't see the harm in it. A tour of the arena, you say? Okay. What are you plotting, Ivan? A site of the first finals battle. It's more than that. Racing to get here first and get the best equipment. 
okay. Yeah, yeah, explanations are good. And tell me the rules. Oh no, we don't get any equipment? Oh jeez. Okay, um, hmm. That's going to make things interesting. Starting point of the first stage. Oh, we've got a whole gauntlet of puzzles, don't we? Okay. The chests along the way contain items that may be useful. And then you get to pick up equipment once you get to the end. Okay. The shield over the gauntlets here, I imagine. And the equipment carries forward. Okay. Each stage has its own attendant. And ask for the explanations of the stages. Okay. Where do we cheer from? Yes, we'll decide where to cheer for Isaac after hearing the descriptions. I think Mia's catching on to Aizen's plot is, we're going to, uh, <laughs> maybe cheat a little bit here. <laughs> yes, please. The Rock Challenge. Okay, yep, fair enough. Push it all the way over. I like that they just show you exactly how to for this first one. Along with their own strength and wit to reach the next stage. Not at the moment. But Garrett would probably be the one to put there if anyone. Piper. Oh, this one is definitely going to be for Mia. Yeah, because Mia can fill that with water on her own, can't she? We'll check out, we'll check what the next stages look like first. Broken Bridge. Oh, wow, okay. So, I think what we do here is someone with growth can grow a vine and let us just climb to the top, and we can just run all the way over. Okay. Garrett is the only one who can use move, and Mia is the only one who can use... The, uh, the downpour deluge. So what does this one do? The large water tank. But if you want to get that treasure chest, you're going to have to get creative. Yeah, it's okay. That one doesn't need anyone helping. But what I need to do is set up Ivan to have growth, if possible. Yeah, because nobody else can get move. I think it has to use an Earth Gym to get growth, right? Quartz is probably not going to be too relevant here. Haunt and Curse? Wow, okay. Oh, this does give him growth. Okay, so let's give Quartz over here for a moment. 
and you're going to just put Zephyr on standby and trade over here. Okay, so Ivan, you have growth. Mia, you have Dows. And Garrett, you have move somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so over here, we're going to put... This is where we put Ivan. We are absolutely cheating, though. 100% we are setting this up to cheat. Okay, so I can. <laughs> Once we send them off to cheer, we can't actually rearrange Jin. I was thinking maybe I should check here and play around with classes for a moment. See if I can find something fun. Oh, that is a really good Jin. Just restore everyone's synergy? Nice. I'm kind of curious about this. Hang on. Oh, okay. Um, not quite what I was looking for here. Oh, okay, so we can just turn him into the planet diver type. I wonder what that does. Hang on. I'm just playing around with this and I don't actually have... Oh, Ruffin. So that's a class promotion. And since I can't just go the full Earth one... Honestly, I kind of like this, so let's figure out which two fire gin I want to give you. I'm surprised that two waters isn't good enough, unless it's three waters. Hang on. We're just tinkering now. Very curious. Cavalier. Ooh, hang on. That actually does seem pretty solid, doesn't it? So, four waters... I need to make sure that we set all of these to standby. Because Mia definitely needs to have Dows. Alright. This is... yeah, this one is for Mia. <laughs> so now we have properly set up our cheatery. Everyone's going to be in position and ready to, uh, help. This one's for Mia. And this one is for Garrett.
Alright, let's go ahead and save. I probably should have done this to start with, but... Oh, that's right. So I could have actually given that to anybody. Meh. Well, a little late for that, but that's okay. We managed to get it set up anyway. Yes, we did. We are prepped and ready, and we are definitely going to play this honestly and cleanly with no cheatery involved whatsoever. Why would we do anything like that? The second best, Azart. I'm not going to lose to someone who didn't even clear the trials. The highest ranked one, Morgan. And he's aiming to win. Satrage, fourth place, or fourth ranked, rather. Navampa of Gondwin. Hey, had you heard rumors you were a huge hulking man? I guess they were wrong. Seventh seed. Oh, one of them's actually respectful. Nice. I guess you're Deca. He's trying to psych himself up. The finals can't be won that easily. Galahad. You seem a little on edge, Galahad. You better get ready fast. Can't leave until the finals are over. Alright. Let's go. The eighth oh. <laughs> It was like, 8th circle? There are only 7. They literally drew a circle on the floor for Isaac to stand in. It was definitely intended from the start and was not a last minute addition of any sort. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, I get to do this directly. Perfect. Yeah, the carrot. Go get him. And Ivan. And Mia. I love that nobody notices anything weird going on here. There is absolutely nothing strange going on at all. Ooh, that's... that'll help. There isn't any treasure on that one. Weird. Oil drop. Oh, right, this one is just across, then up and over. And then all the way back around. And another nut. Okay, that one was probably unnecessary. It's okay. And now we just wait for him to get here, I guess. Look at this guy taking so long to make it through the gauntlet. I mean, imagine. Wait, isn't this the guy who is ranked first? Yeah, it is. Oh wow, okay. Hmm. Well, we have healing. And... Synergy. I think we're gonna be okay. 
let's just start basic and see how hard he hits. Let's see oil drop he picked up. Okay, healing, fair enough. So far all I'm doing is hitting you in the face, and you've used all of your healing, assuming that this is that we get the same items along the way. He's already used all his healing. And now, now it's time to cut loose. <laughs> okay, he's got a lot of Oh no, he was defending. Rude. How much do I does this do when you're not defending? Okay, so it's better just to use a single target. I'm go ahead and use this. That was a crit. And down he goes. This guy's like, I lost to the 8th place seed? What? Oh, okay, so we get to go again. Fun! <laughs> that first match was terrific. I like that they're very complimentary all of a sudden. I didn't mind read any of these guys along the way. Ah. How annoying. I <laughs> can't believe anyone ever gets lost in that maze. The mini maze! Be another one for Garrett, possibly. Yeah, he got it because because I was shuffling around Jin to see what kind of class I could give him to go into this, and I think it would be very helpful. Honestly, it's a solid heal. Oh my. Okay. Wait a minute, I think I know what we can do there. We can use that halt jump on the person who's pulling the lever to move them back and forth. I don't think I'm going to, because I think if I do, I'm not going to be able to get to the treasure chest that's on the top side. Oh, this one's for Mia, 100%. Although I do have a gem that gives us frost, so technically it can be anybody. a conferred honor, I guess. The fans just call this the wall. Go rock climbing, fair enough. That one's another one for growth. Oh, there's a fifth section. Ooh. Now things are getting interesting. The boardwalk. This one wants force, doesn't it? Okay. So we only get to cheat on three of five this time. Fun. Alright, so 
let me go through all of these one more time. I want to see... Hmm... His text bubbles are... oops. His text bubbles are getting in the way. I'm trying to see these... So what I think I can do is if I'm allowed to move more than once, Garrett can basically just give me a shortcut down where we get to where it's standing now. We can just go down, hop and hop, and get out. Oh no, he only has to move once to do that, never mind. That saves a little bit of time. This one was the shifting platforms, right? But there's definitely a treasure chest up above that one on the top on the left. So I don't just want to stop them from shifting at all, because I will want to hop up there and get the chest. Gotcha, yeah, okay, so that's what I thought. So we can save time on the first one, we don't want to use it on the second. So we can put ice on two different sections here. Oh, here, let me take a moment to look at this one. This one's a little tricky. Oh, no, it's not. What am I talking about? So with this one, I put Mia here, and we freeze the one on the left. Then all we do is roll the log over and just jump on out. We don't have to, we <laughs> don't have to do anything at all. Yeah, and there's no treasure to miss there either. So this one... The treasure is there. Getting that is going to require moving that pillar no matter what. And I think what growth does is it connects to this part of the wall all the way on the left. So what we do is we go in there. Hang on. Let me look at it one more time. Yeah, because I think what I have to do is move the pillar over, and then just climb all the way down to get to that treasure, and then climb all the way back up. I don't think growth does anything for me there. Yeah, because we move the pillar over, climb down that middle one, climb back up, and then just have to make sure that we drop and hop. Let me- I want to look at that one more time. Yeah, growth doesn't do anything because I can't drop after I get that treasure chest. It's just climb down, climb up, and then make the correct jump at the end. So, we want to cheer on 1, 3, and 5. And this one, I think if we force on that log at the bottom, what we can do is push this first log over, and then just climb down and go down through that, and all the way up and avoid having to navigate the logs on the left side over here. Okay, so we want me on 3. Someone with force on five. And I believe it was Garrett on one. Where's the force gem? We'll give this to Ivan. Put Ivan there. So, out of curiosity, <laughs> let's go ahead and 
trade these back around. Since I don't need growth, I can just go back to his usual class. But I am also curious to see what he gets if we... give him Jupiter Gym. Oh right, the whole Astral Blast thing. So what happens if we continue giving him more? No change in his synergy yet. Still none. Impact, high impact ward. Huh. Yeah, you know, I think the water ones are fine as, a, as an alternative, but I think we're just going to go back to pure earth for now. Keep things simple. Everyone goes back to the basics. So, Ivan has the Force Orb, Garrett has Move, and Mia, you already have Freeze, right? Yes. Okay, good. So, this one is for Ivan. <laughs> Alright, I took a while thinking about this one. Let's go. And I'm pretty sure this isn't even the final round, either. We have a full house. Please enter somewhere else. Yeah, this one's for Mia. And we just freeze the one on the left. This one, Garrett moves the middle pillar to the left once. Alright. And we're full health and synergy again. Let's go. Lend a hand. An invisible psychic hand, if you will. actually goes very smoothly, doesn't it? Waving to me on the way over. Alright, move that. Shoot. Get a little bit closer. There we are. Alright, up and down and up we go. Oh, I think I see what you would use growth for, because there's a ladder on the, on the right side here. You can go down that and then just up. Oh shoot! Oh, I missed. Okay. I need to take the middle one, I think. 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> A little embarrassing. Oh shoot. We got beaten to the punch there. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. I lost too much time on the middle section. Yeah, on the wall climb? That's where I lost it. Unfortunate. It's okay. We still have Jin and Synergy, and these guys are not going to give us any problems. Let me show me him exactly what I think of him beating me here. really is just going in on it, isn't he? Oh, we do get to keep all of the items from previous rounds, too. Handy. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and cure well. Unable to move. Oh, that's a nice gin to have, isn't it? Oh, he's he's trying to heal. How cute. He has no idea what we're about to drop on his head. <laughs> Alright, Babby, you wanted a show? Have a show. Nice outrage. <laughs> Better luck next time. If you win one more, you'll be the champion. Alright. Final round. Let's go. <laughs> Don't be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, there may have been a little bit of collateral damage there. Just a tad. didn't think you'd make it this far. I didn't do this to all the attendants and I'm annoying. Or annoyed at myself. Yes, please. So this is... Oh, hang on. No, no, this is definitely just use Frost, and then you- oh, yeah, no, we're definitely putting either me or someone with a Frost gem right over here. That will save so much time. really good here. I mean, it, it's not saving a huge amount of time, but it does save a chunk. And Garrett's the only one who would be able to help here. And the wall wedge? This is where we want to halt, Jim. Oh, yikes. Yeah, halt, Jim is going in here no matter what. Free climb area. Ooh, 
growths would do a lot here too. Okay. So I'm thinking that Garrett isn't going to be moving that pillar, we'll just do those jumps. We, we are definitely using Halt, we are definitely using Freeze. This is another one that I'm looking at. Just with growth, and... What do we have here? Oh my! This would be force. Yeah, that's uh... Okay. That seems like a pretty direct one, and it'll speed up a lot if I use force there, but... This is the one with the treasure, another log rolling area. So we need to roll the log all the way over there, just gotta move the pillars out of the way. There's a treasure chest there. How do we get- oh, okay. So we're not going to be able to get help on this last one. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm thinking Force, Growth, and Freeze. Oh wait, no, Halt. That's right. Ugh. Uh, okay. It's hard to choose here. <laughs> it looks like the guy working next door. The nerve! Real story, he looks exactly like the guy next door. I've got him down pat. Yeah, I imagine. Isn't there anyone to cheer for me? Oh, I'm cheering for you. And I'm not allowed to see the finals because I have to face the other way. I'm starving! Alright, Ochet. Alright, Ochet. I see you. Yeah, this one we skip. This one I can just do the hopping, it doesn't take that long. So, skip two. One would be freeze. Like, technically this one shouldn't need assistance. But I feel like a halt gem would just do so much work here. It would make it so easy to just not worry about it and run straight through. Yeah, we're definitely going to put a halt gem in here. Still thinking about that freeze on the first one. The growth here would be really good. But, I could just forfeit growth and do freeze, halt, and force, and that would work out pretty well. Honestly, I think those three should all save about the same amount of time. So we'll put Mia on the first one, Ivan on the fifth one I believe it is, and you need the halt gem. So this is Force, and we're going to put Ivan here. You know, I really think the Growth one is going to save me more time than this. So if that's the case, we need to readjust. We're going to turn Isaac into an honorary Mercury clan member again. Oh, you don't think they can reach the plant? Really? Huh. Oh, that would be the 
biggest bait if they put it somewhere you can't reach it. You know what, that, that is a good point. I haven't actually experimented with how far away you can use that synergy from, so that's an excellent point. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to ignore that, we'll just do the rock climbing. This one is for Ivan. We'll play it safe. Oh, right. You know that? Oh. Huh. I would have to give him the fire gin to make that work. But that would... oh, that would be huge. Yeah, hang on. Let me, let me do some rearranging again. anything for four. Oh, we do. Oh! Wait, what does that give you, exactly? Out of curiosity. Play Spire and Impair. I mean, it's mostly about the stats, honestly. Those are some excellent stat bonuses. Let's go ahead and trade this over. Granite is just, it's so good. It's so darn good. Okay, and everyone else should still be fine. This is Force for Ivan. has the Halt Gem, which I think is over here, right? Yes. And again, technically I do think it would be possible to just go through this without Halt and put Garrett over on the, f on the first one, which would save more time. But if I mistime this at all, that costs me so much more time, and I'm not willing to risk it. Go get him, Garrett. And that just leaves Mia for this one, I think. Oh no, that was the second one, right. I'm actually getting these mixed up. <laughs> yeah, so Mia's on the first one. Which saves plenty of time. Yes, just triple checking. Get him, Mia. Alright. Everyone's locked and loaded. Let's get this done. Go ahead and save, too. Yes, we did. Alright, Garrett. You are going to make sure this guy does not do anything for the foreseeable future. You are going to knock that over and ideally put a stop to this whole bit of nonsense. I love that nobody questions any of this. It's like, oh, what's that? There's an ice pillar there instead of a puddle of water? Imagine that, that's so weird. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. 
How did that log make it into the gears? Mm. It's so strange. Thank you, Mia. <laughs> Thank you, Garrett. Alright. Grow, little plant, grow. Another case of, but that was definitely normal. Nothing weird going on there. Okay, this guy on the other side has caught up to me insanely fast. Wow. Genuinely impressed. Like, for a guy who's got no synergy to play with and nobody helping him cheat, he's doing a fantastic job. A claymore. Well, now we just wait for him. Alright, you. Good luck. Oh, this is the guy from, um, what was the name of the southern area of the continent again? Darn it, I don't know why I'm fritzing on that. Alright, well, we've got some fun new stuff to play around with. Drop enemies to fence. Ooh. Let's see how much your planet diver does. Ooh, solid. Also, I don't think I've actually seen the 4th level Mars summon yet, have I? So let's go ahead and start with boosting defense. Then we're going to try to stun him. Didn't work, unfortunately. Go ahead and try to wrap him into illusion. Didn't work. It's okay. We've got nuts. I've been banking these. Oh, and he was defending. Perfect timing. Alright, let's create a barrier. This is not going to help the summon I'm going for, but it does keep us alive. Oh, he's healing! How cute! Forge it up. Wow, he did a lot of damage even through that barrier. Meteor! Oh, so we just get black materia, do we? Alright, Navampa. Good luck! Just a giant meteor coming out of space. He survived! Wow! I'm impressed. Alright, now we just heal and wait for the gen to recover. I'm gonna go ahead and sap too. This is a heal and an attack at the same time. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's, that could be really, really bad. Isaac, wake up! Sure. Oh, thank goodness, okay. <laughs> okay, that sleep bomb nearly ended us right there. Wow. Okay, use a nut. Jeez, that was way too close for comfort. Alright, Ramses, it's been a while.
Oh, that's why. I was thinking 30 damage from a summon? That doesn't make any sense at all. Hmm. I'm not going to go and use any more gin. I think I'm just going to planet diver him down. Oh, nice. There we go. Whew. Isaac, why are you collapsing? I knew it was a hard fight, but you're 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 fine. Get up on your feet. You won the fight, Isaac. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> he's like, I'm exhausted. Collapses. Just falls asleep on the stage. Class act, Isaac. Either exhausted, or I'm so bored, I'm just crushing all these people who have no synergy and it's not even a contest. That last fight was very close, though. I will give the guy a lot of credit. He pushed me right to the brink with that sleep bomb. That was well timed. <laughs> he was a cold. You had us worried. I I imagine so. He slept for a while. He better be all right after sleeping this long. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's go. I'm more worried about what Babby wants. And before I forget, let's fix all of these gin. And get everybody back to what I'm used to. <laughs> we still have to keep it clean, even if it's never getting used. Yeah, and, and it would. Dust is one of those ridiculous parts of life that always accumulates. Well, always. It does help if it's in a bigger open area like a giant guest room. <laughs> For dust to be hiding and then accumulate. Yes, and what about... It was most rewarding to see Babby's favorite warrior steal the day. The victor's prize. What do we get? The lure cap. The recuperative powers of youth. Enough with the flattery. Why did you call us here? Such insolence. <laughs> Garrett over here, like, um, wait, am I in trouble?
What do you mean by everything? Uh, yeah, sure. It is an awesome power. Yeah, I mean, we did put on a bit of a show, didn't we? Cloak ball. Oh, okay, that's what he meant. I knew Isaac's tournament was strange. I mean, you use what you've got, right? Yes, you did mention that. What is it? A city of an ancient people lying far out at sea. Something like Atlantis, in a way. About the time of the Great Flood. Oh, that's right, he was traveling with Lumpa at one point. We did hear about that somewhere. It happened a hundred years ago. You mean those rumors about you are true? Diadem's still kind of processing over here. Um, I'm not sure, because from what Creighton's said, that's still kind of just a myth. Nope, I did not forget about it. I'm afraid I don't have it. <laughs> the Traft of Lemuria. Which is what we retrieved from him at the bottom of that cave, isn't it? And just drinking stops you from aging? I am over here getting very interested. Slows. Fair enough. I can't stop it completely. There is death in Lemuria. Oh jeez, wow. That's an odd. So, everybody in Lemuria is an adept, too. And become wealthy enough to rule Tolby. What are you getting at? <laughs> Ivan's like, alright, you have a motive. What is it? Say it out loud. I'm not sure I understand. So he's just casually after immortality over here. Uh huh. So he's near the end of what he has. We must hurry to Lemuria. <laughs> What on earth do you mean, Pointless? You've been there before! Hmm. Ah, so he's, he's attempted this already. That's a good question. Ah, so he's been he's been trying to draw it out as long as he can, and <laughs> kind of waited a little too long. I want you to do it. <laughs> After I just told you that it's impossible to find. By air? What? 
Oh, okay. So he's trying to get a better vantage point. <laughs> That's why you're building the lighthouse? <laughs> and there's more to it than that. You don't have to make me sound so petty. <laughs> the ocean southeast of the lighthouse, where it sh oh, okay. Well, something dangerous, no doubt. What, monsters? We can handle them. Huh. They can't even keep a straight course. So something's going on in that ocean. Oh. So it just pushes you off course without you even realizing it. And Lighthouse will help ships keep their bearings. It gives you a good point to fix on and know which direction is where. Yeah, how exactly did you get out? In a Lemurian ship. And it runs on Synergy, which is why he needs add-outs. Which makes sense if it's from Lemuria, eh, Lemuria, and all of the people there can use Synergy, why wouldn't they build something that runs on the stuff? I mean, he's already kind of said no, doesn't he? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was possible. Oh, wait, no. No. Sorry. No, I didn't realize that was possible. We've seen this happen already with people who are exposed to the crystals, who have developed some small power as a result. So I'm guessing something similar happened with Babby. I will grant you whatever you wish. Well, I want that cloak ball, if you don't mind. You shouldn't make him me as like, we could wish for a lot. Absolutely. Garrett's like, Isaac, we do have a priority here. The lighthouse? Do you mean- oh, and then he's like, wait, not Babby's lighthouse. You mean a different lighthouse. Wait, why? Why do you need to go there? These lighthouses are tied to add-ups and synergy. Okay, they're not telling us everything, are they? <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, if they can get us into the lighthouse, we're going to have our own goals advanced. We're not telling you what those are yet, but, you know. Sure, we'll work together. Okay, so meet down at the bridge going down into Gondolin. We will see you there. But first, Babby, about that cloak ball. Hmm. 
Where did you run away to? Oh, he's just in bed. Fair enough. We'd have everything set back, but... I mean, Toldy will have to find a new leader, right? It's just like every other city and country. Yes, absolutely, give it to me. <laughs> we'll borrow it with every intent of returning it eventually. Thank you very much, Babby. Oh, so we can just avoid random encounters, as long as we stick to the shadows. That is very handy. Also, I need to readjust some stuff. Oh, and this increases for- oh! That is actually going to be very handy, not necessarily here but in the second part of the games, when we might end up actually wanting to grind. Oops, no, nope, don't want to equip that yet. Oh, I guess I don't get to keep the nuts and stuff that we picked up in Colosso. Unfortunate. Alright, everybody go give these Synergy thingies to Isaac. That way I know where all of them are. Wait a minute, didn't Isaac have the Force Jump? Where is it? Oh, yeah, okay, so... I guess we gave it back to Isaac afterwards. Fair enough. So we have Halt, Force, okay, we've got everything. And that is what I wanted to make sure of. Didn't randomly lose a crystal. Alright. So, we got a lot done today. Um, we're not going to keep going too far from here. We'll head out of town and... Call it a night here. <laughs> That's good stuff, though. Um, oh wow, we got so much done. We got all the way through Colosso. I wasn't really sure where we were going to end up. I didn't think I was going to make it all the way to the tournament tonight. But we did. We got all the way through that. And now I think we've got our sights set closer to the end of the game. Let me go ahead and save here. Let me see. So we've got six gin left to find. We still haven't gotten to the Venus Lighthouse yet. No. So, like, if I look over here, seven of each. Oh yeah, we're actually very close, aren't we? I don't know if we'll make it to the end of the game tomorrow. If not, we should be getting pretty close. I do want to explore all of the various side activities of the game along the way. So what that means is that tomorrow we're definitely going to head all the way back to Lenpa and rescue Hammett. Give Isaac so, or Ivan some peace of mind, and from there we'll go check out this new boat and see what we can find. I believe there's an optional dungeon somewhere in this game too that I'd also like to tackle, and yeah, we'll see. There's a non-zero chance that we make it to the Venus Lighthouse by the end of next stream, and I guess mild very mild spoilers, is that that will be the end of what the game refers to as Book 1, which is the first part of the story, when we switch over to the next cartridge and go into the Lost Age. 
I don't know if we'll make it there. If we do, that's great. <laughs> but if not, we'll just pick it up next Friday and then move on to the Lost Age next Saturday. Really happy, though, with the progress we've made, and I'm just genuinely loving going through this game again. It's... it's such a treat. It's... I think part of me is just really tickled that I'm playing through this and loving it, and that my memories of it weren't just rose-tinted nostalgia. The game is genuinely fun. I do think the combat is a little up in the air. I think that there's definitely some room that that could have been improved, especially compared to modern titles. But overall, the game has so much appeal that just lasts and is still really enjoyable today. The story is great. Honestly, like I was talking about earlier, I, I really do appreciate how it gets you involved and interacting with all of the various areas and people in the world, and helps you see the impact that all of the things in the main story are having. And also gives you a good idea of how the world sort of is doing as a whole. Like, if there's... people are kind of struggling in a lot of places. <laughs> Not everywhere is quite as, thri as prosperous and thriving as Tolby is. And things aren't necessarily the best for a lot of the people living in this world. But we'll see. We'll see how things progress as the story keeps going. And yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. I should have that stream scheduled shortly after this one is over, so if you're interested in hanging out again then, you should be able to see it coming up on the channel. Um, we will be taking a break until next Friday with the Golden Sun streams after that. I'll be doing another Zelda stream this Sunday, and then we'll be going back to the usual Fire Emblem Heroes stuff during the week. Yeah, that's just upcoming stuff. So, just to close things out and try to stop rambling, uh, thank you to everybody who's tuned in tonight. As always, it is a it's an absolute treat to be able to share this game with everybody who's curious about it or hasn't necessarily seen it before. I do think these games deserve so much attention. They're really, really well put together, and yeah, I, I, I would love to be able to share this with as many people who are, as I can who are interested in it, because it's, it's well worth experiencing. For anyone who has played it before, I hope it's been a fun trip down memory lane, and yeah, I look forward to the next one because Venus Lighthouse is not necessarily in touching distance, but I do think we're getting very close to it. Should be fun. I think that's about everything, too, so thank you once again to everybody who's been here. It's been great to have you all, and I hope to see you all again next time. So until then, take care, good luck with whatever games you're playing, have a good night, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>